Hey guys, the Vice President of Nigeria, Kasim Chetimaraz, have admitted that Nigerians are dying of hunger and they are angry. He said Nigerians are angry because of what they are experiencing in their government. Hello everyone, welcome back to Prospect Janet TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you're just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. As many Nigerians groom in poverty due to the rising cost of living occasioned by unprecedented inflation, the Vice President Kasim Shetima has said the poor in the country are angry with government officials and other members of the elite who constitute the minority. The Vice President said this at the graduation ceremony of the Executive Intelligence Management Court, 16 participants from different security agencies and nominees of state government in Abuja on Saturday. The event was organized by the National Institute for Security Studies. This is the first time a senior government official is admitting the the Brighton hardship in the country, which has been aggravated since President Bola Tinubu took over the, the reins of government on May 29, 2023. When I remember what he do now, in his uh, inaugural speech, the president had declared that subsidy on petrol was gone for good. And hours after that statement, the pump price of petrol jumped from 230 uh, 38 naira to 263 per liter to a minimum of 500. It currently sex for between uh, 620 to 650. You understand? You just say fuel subsidy is gone. Then trust Nigerians. Everything today in this country, in a no go area, people now beg to eat. Civil servants. It's now a very big problem for people to survive. They are not finding, in fact, not just civil servants, salary earners are not finding it difficult to survive. You cannot survive with the, with, with the current uh, salary scale. Now, with this current situation we are facing now today in Nigeria. As Nigerians, we are adjusting to the new reality and the attendant increase in the price of goods and service services, including transport fares. The federal government announced the decision to allow the exchange rate of the Naira to major international currencies float and be determined by demand and supply. <laughs> that decision immediately led to a significant depreciation of the local currency, which parked at 465 Against the United States dollar just weeks before Tinubu's inauguration, the scarcity of dollars and other major international currencies led to the Naira to, to climb to over 1,000 against the, the greenback. Just on Friday, the Naira fell to an all-time low of 1,099. Okay? Uh, to dollar at the official investor and exporter. The, the first forex window to, to cap what had been a turbulent couple of months for the national currency. The, the lowest rates that the Naira had closed since the Central Bank of Nigeria moved to adopt the I and E window as the official trading channel for the currency. That day, the currency began trading at 844.10 stroke a dollar before closing at 1099.05 uh, stroke a dollar. Since June, the Naira has lost more than 40% of its value, adding to inflatory pressure in the country. Saturday Punch reported that many families risked celebrating the approaching Christmas and New Year in hardship due to the hike in the prices of goods and services and the uh, diverse uh, uh, life-changing ways to cut costs. 
Sheti Maha River said on Saturday, all of us here belong to a thin segment of the Nigerian population. And you don't need a suseya to tell you that the poor are angry with us. Go to this the, to this to the slums and mingle with the poor. I am a native of Meduguri, Burunu State's capital. Any time a rich man brought bought a car, bought a new car to his house, he, he, they, they, in the house it used to be a place of a pre, a, a pilgrimage. People used to go go and see, not out of hung, anger, but out of admiration. But now, as we cruise around in our bulletproof cars, one we see contempt in the eyes of the poor. We have to improve the quality of governance. And what we have is a thin window of not more than 10 to 20 years. Let's improve the quality of governance. He also noted that creating jobs and giving hope to the populace will help curb insecurity in the country. The vice president added, let's create jobs, let's give hope to the populace. And once we create jobs, all this madness of insecurity will disappear. They won't be Boko Haram and the banditry. If this is done, especially for us from the north, we can blame the bandits, but we in leadership positions own it to prosperity to address this. The poor are the most neglected segment of our society. You can hardly differentiate between them and their animals. Even the animals they rear belong to those in the city. So, they have to be connect and non connect solutions to all the problems. Okay. Be, be it the IPOP agit agitation in the southeast, be it the challenges in the south south, be it the Boko Haram or rural banditry in the northeast, northwest, and north central. He, however, urged the citizens to be patient with President Bola Metunubu and support his effort to reposition the country. So, guys, what's your take on this? Do you really trust him? Do you really trust these people he has spoken? What's your take on this? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. If you are just joining us, subscribe to this channel. Share this video. Let it go viral. Thank you.